All right, so this sucks. I really didn't want to do this, but I'm biting the bullet. Just going to go ahead and do this. It's definitely not going to do so well. More than likely, this video is going to peak at 50, 60K views, it was seeming like, with how the views were going up. But as you can see, it stopped around here. I'm re-uploading this. Some of you might have seen this yesterday over the Fallout 76 hacker that spawned thousands of rare items. And I mentioned Bethesda needs to try to fix this before it gets worse because, well, he mentions how he's going to do more. And unfortunately, for some reason, my viewers were not able to watch it either. As you can see, I can't even watch it on my PC. Out of the years that I've been on YouTube, I've never experienced this problem. If you could possibly leave a like on this video, that'd be greatly appreciated because it would help, you know, get the video passed around more again. Unfortunately, I have to do this re-upload, so I don't think it's going to do nearly as well, sadly. Kind of sucks. As you can see, people are commenting saying this video is unavailable on this device. All of these people as well. And here's another comment saying this video is unavailable. This person thinks Bethesda did it, but no, that's not the case. It's definitely not Bethesda doing this. I would have had some kind of like copyright claim from Bethesda or something. This is part of YouTube's problem. As you can see, once again, another one. This video is unavailable on this device. I mean, it, it's just ridiculous. I mean, look, another one. Video unavailable. Video unavailable. Video unavailable. Yeah. Actually, look, I mean, even my most recent comments on YouTube. Unavailable, unavailable, unavailable sucks luckily people were messaging me on my instagram and twitter notifying me about this because i get too many notifications on youtube so i don't have every notification going to my device from youtube of course but yeah people were letting me know on my instagram as well as on my twitter as you can see thankfully freaking man one video that i have doing really well all of a sudden just gets annihilated from YouTube. Like I said, I don't think this is going to do that well anymore. But um, yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and just replay this video that for some reason stopped playing yesterday and hopefully we don't encounter the same problem. I'm pretty sure I know why I encountered it. I did edit something within the video and it just continued to process and I think it corrupted the video on YouTube. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Anyways, enjoy everyone. And for some of you, again, <laughs> If you feel like watching it again, that is. Wowzers. Wowzers. Do I have a doozy for you guys in this one? I did plan on uploading my experience at the Fosnot event over in Helvetia, West Virginia, in real life. Since, well, you know, that event is in Fall 76, I thought it'd be cool to take you guys along with me to the real life event that only happens once a year. I was going to upload that today. I might still upload it later, but I wanted to cover this first just because I know more of the Fall community would be interested in this. And speaking of being interested in, I noticed that you guys have been wanting me to showcase my builds that I use within Fall 76, you know, show you guys how I get such high damage within the game. And I will be doing that soon. I'm actually going to be starting a series showcasing all the builds that I use. I do a ridiculous amount of damage with the builds that I do utilize. And I have put some thoughts and time into building these. After all, I have like 1600 hours played within this game. It's kind of embarrassing to talk about, okay? So I don't want to get on that subject, all right? I know, that's a lot of time, I know. Also, before I get into this, I wanted to work out a deal with y'all, maybe. I noticed that my giveaway over my $100 Amazon gift card, you guys aren't really interested in that much. I mean, some of you are, don't get me wrong, but I'm currently trying to get my Instagram up to 15K followers. So it'd be nice if you guys could just take a little bit of your time and go follow it. A link to it will be down below in the description. And once that hits 15K followers, I am going to be continuing my real life comparison series. The reason why I'm waiting for it to hit that number is because I'm going to be showing more behind the scenes over the series before I release it here on YouTube to help hype it up a little bit more. So yeah, I guess let's go ahead and get into this now. Let me go ahead and pull this up on my lip lap, my laptop. Okay, so currently I'm in my editing software here. Let me go down to Google Chrome. Speaking of Instagram, here it is right here. Uh, as you can see, I'm almost hitting 13K followers. My goal is to hit 15K. Ooh, that's a lucky number. 777. Noise. Noise. Good thing that was in Pornhub popped up. Anyways, uh, here we are. This is it, guys. I'm going to be showing you a couple hacks that this player has shown on YouTube. Also, I'm going to be putting my toboggan on because, yes, I know my hair is kind of awkward. I know, guys. You guys have told me multiple times, do you get a haircut, man? You look like a caveman. Blah, 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 blah. 
no, I'm not getting a haircut. I'm growing out like Keanu Reeves. Stop making me feel insecure, guys. Sheesh, now I got to wear a hat every time I make a video of me in person? Gosh. Guys, you're making me so insecure. All right, let's play this. Check this out. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Hang on. Got to replay it. Make sure it's on 1080p. All right, here we go. Yep. Yeah. And that's a Foss, not Gobble Mask. And a Camo Jumpsuit. You know, there's just all kinds of rare things that just spawned right here. Actually, it looks like he just spawned a bunch of Foss Knot Goblin Masks and Camo Jumpsuits. I'm sure there's other Foss Knot Masks within these items. This is just ridiculous. Bunch of disease cures. You know, now that I'm really looking at this, all I see are Foss Knot Goblin Masks. Still, those are really, really rare masks within the game. I would love to get my hands on one of those on console. I've actually never seen one on console. I have seen them on PC though, but it's insane. So basically, I think this, oh, and there's Vault 94 steel that he spawned in too. I think this dude can just spawn whatever he wants within the game, which is pretty insane to think about. <laughs> Actually, I just don't think. I know. Oh my gosh. See, once again, spawn some more. That's just ridiculous. You know, I was just speaking of the fossil in the beginning of this video. And actually, what's kind of funny is there was a person with the goblin mask at the real life fossil event over in Helvetia, West Virginia, as you can see here. So crazy. I just want to throw it out there in this dude's description over his latest hack that he did. He mentions containers coming soon. So it seems like things are only going to get worse from here. He's going to be showing off some other hacks as well. In a way, I guess this is kind of a good thing too. I mean, sure, it's not the greatest that he's doing hacks within the game, but he's at least showing that these are possible and Bethesda can start cracking down on them now. Because some players keep this secretive, completely secretive, where they don't show it whatsoever. In a way, this guy is kind of bringing awareness over this happening. And I'm kind of helping bring awareness over this happening by showing you all these. So, hopefully Bethesda can possibly crack down on these. Now, let me go ahead and show you another um, hack this guy has done in the game. He actually has done a couple. Here's another one. This one's kind of older. You probably have already seen or heard about this one. Maybe. It only has a thousand views. But, um, this is called Scrap Looter. Check this out. The title is exactly what he does in the game. He's just selecting what he wants. And... Uh, as you can see, he has it all pulled up right here. And bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> just straight goes into his inventory. How nice. I don't even know what to really say about these hacks because they're not really affecting other players. I have to admit, like, he's not, like, technically showing off him stealing other players' inventories, but he's still using hacks that are obviously not meant to be in the game. Here's another one I thought was pretty hilarious. This is an older one as well, but look at this. This dude is a Fallout 76 god. He just spawns in whatever he wants. Sounds eerie. He just bombs the crap out of the White Springs Resort. <laughs> Easy experience. <laughs> that is really loud in my ears at least I'll make sure it's not on the video but <laughs> Batman broken at the end 
How in the world was he using a fat man at all? I guess that's part of the hack. I don't know. It's hilarious, though. What else has he got on here? Corruption test. Before I play this, what does the description say? Hopping servers fixed the camera. Multiple methods were tested. None of them corrupted my character. Only tested on local player. Hmm. Okay. What? Um, that was really weird. Here's another one. Damage editing. This is ridiculous. The numbers that he gets. By, of course, using a third-party software. That map is showing all the enemies around. And look at that. He's just shooting through walls, too. In a sense, this is an aimbot as well. Because you'll notice he doesn't even have to really aim at the target. Like, he'll still hit it. See? He didn't completely... See, look at that. He's just shooting and the bullets are like homing after the enemies in a sense. That's so crazy. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I guess I'll start wrapping up this video, everyone. Just wanted to bring more awareness over this hack that was just implemented yesterday. Well, just shown off yesterday. This has probably been an ongoing thing for quite some time. Hackers just haven't really made it public. Also, it seems like in the description anyways, that containers will be coming soon. I don't know exactly what he means by that. Maybe he's meaning that he's gonna be duplicating a bunch of containers, just like we saw him duplicating a bunch of rare items in the game. If you could possibly leave a like on this video to help pass this around the community so more awareness is brought to this hack. So maybe Bethesda could do something about this before it starts getting even more serious, like the inventory steal hack. They did manage, after all, to prevent that from happening in the game. So that was pretty good news how swiftly they acted upon that. And not to mention, just gonna leave a friendly reminder here at the end as well. If you could, maybe take a little bit of your time and follow my Instagram. A link to it will be down below in the description. I'm also doing a $100 Amazon gift card giveaway over there as well. Once again, to be real with you all, I'm trying to accumulate more followers on that social media so I can help promote my bigger projects that I upload here on YouTube. I haven't really promoted it much. I'm just starting to more now. I'm out here though, everybody. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.